Parkinson's disease affects one in every 500 people in Canada, with approximately 6,600 new cases diagnosed each year. A Toronto-based company, Click Health, set out to create a groundbreaking device that's able to record Parkinson's tremors from a patient and then transmit them to a caregiver, allowing them to truly feel what the patient is feeling. So I want to show this to you. This is Kick's brand new Simpulse device. It comes out today. We're going to test it out for the first time here in your morning. And joining us in studio to help us do that is Jan Fosse from Click Health. Thanks for being here. You're welcome. I'm excited to know uh, and to see how this works and to, and, to, and to feel the tremors. But first of all, I want you to explain how does this work? So it works by um, it digitizes the muscle activity of a Parkinson patient, so records what their muscles are doing, and then it plays it back. So it will make your muscles do what the muscles of a patient do. We explained in the beginning that it, allow, it transmits the tremors from the patient to the caregiver, but how close do they have to be together? So they can be as close as you and I, they could be across the planet because it's digital data, basically, so you could tra transmit it as far as you want. So they don't need to be in the same house, the no. same caregiving center. Fascinating. No. Okay, well, you've got me all hooked up, so let's so, test it out. Yes, so right now, you're going to feel the tremors that we recorded on a patient that you saw on video. Okay. And your hands are going to start twitching. Okay, I can see that. There we go. That is not me doing it. Oh, no, wow. this is, so your hand is doing what a patient was actually doing. It's his muscle activity that is being played in your hand. And you could try, for example, to, um, to do basic things like writing your name okay. or drawing a spiral. Um, okay. And this is intended to create empathy, to make you feel that having tremors is actually very debilitating. It's not just mild inconvenience, as you can see. Frustrating, too, like trying yeah. to get anything to match. And I like that you guys have called this tele-empathy. Yeah. It not only allows, it, does this transmit to a, care, a caregiver? So does it let them know that a tremor is happening for somebody or the in, intensity of it? So there's I'm trying as hard as I can to yeah. keep this smooth. <laughs> so there's multiple applications. The first one was for empathy, to literally make you feel what it's like. So yeah. if you have a relative who's Parkinson, and I can shut it off if you're okay. No, no, okay. I'm okay. Let's keep going. Let's see if you had a relative who's Parkinson, and you, you, know, you want to care for them. You want to know what it's like. You want to realize how tough it is to button a shirt, mm -hmm. to slice a tomato, or anything like that. Feeling the disease with your own arm, with your own hand, is the best way to truly understand what it's like. Even being able to use your phone, like trying, you know, with everything with touch yeah. oh. technology, to even try and turn my hand to get it is very difficult. Reading or read a paper. You know? Yeah, like you can't. You need, you need, if you've got tremors in both hands too, there's yeah. just, there's no way. So, so that, you, you so created that, this to be able to have this sense of empathy between the two. Yes, it's that sense of empathy we get by walking into somebody else's shoes, that's the expression. So in this case, you're literally feeling somebody else's hand, feeling their own tremor so that you know, okay, this is what's happening. And if I was a Parkinson patient right mm -hmm. now in, and I was wearing the other device, you would see my hand tremor at the same time. This is a pre-recorded set. It's almost like an iPod, basically pre-recorded data, but you could do it in real time. And as the patient moves, you move. Uh, I want to share with our viewers this video that you know you guys recorded. This is a set of twins. One has Parkinson's, they're identical twins. Yes. One does not. Uh, and just what it meant for these two brothers to have this shared experience. Have a look. It's like I've lost complete control of my arm. I, I was, I was, I really kind of. Transmitting that to the Tell us more about that moment between these two brothers when, you know, these identical twins who share so much finally were able to share this as well. It was really moving because they're identical twins. They know each other as much as anybody can know someone. And yet that feeling, they had never experienced that. What are you hoping to accomplish with this? So we want to, it's almost a new field of science because empathy is really hard to learn. It's one of those skills that some people are good at it, some people are not. You can't just learn empathy by going on a PowerPoint presentation and say, now I know how to do it. This is the first time that technology is actually helping us learn a skill much faster, much, with much more intensity. We know that patients do better when doctors have increased empathy. There's a lot of research that shows this. So we're trying to help the patient outcome, not by creating a new drug, but by just increasing the empathy of the health care system. Making people aware of what the challenges are for somebody. Exactly. I love this. Jan, thanks so much for demonstrating this here first on your morning. If you would like more information on Simpulse, you can head to our website. You'll find that at yourmorning.ca.